This video is sponsored by Build-A-Bear. Look at it, it feels so good. Oh. You guys, how is it possible that I have a middle schooler in my house? Hello there, everyone. We are getting ready to go back to school in our house, which I just, I can't even believe it's that time right now. Addie, what grade are you going into? I'm going into sixth grade. Sixth grade. I don't understand how time goes by so quickly. What grade are you going to be going into? Fourth grade. Fourth grade, are you ready for fourth grade? Yes, I, I'm very excited. And Colin has a very exciting year ahead as well. Colin, what grade are you going into? Kindergarten. Kindergarten, can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just went and toured his kindergarten classroom a few days ago and we are just so excited. We have big years, kindergarten, fourth grade and sixth grade. And now you may have noticed something with Maya. She's gonna have a new accessory to sport at the beginning of this school year. Maya, what, what accessory are you sporting? Oh, a wrist brace. We were playing outside and I tripped and I fell on my wrist and I broke it. I had to wear a cast for two days. And now I have a brace. I'm sure all of you parents can relate to this. Of course, the incident with the wrist happened after hours. So all the urgent cares were closed, the pediatric offices were closed, so we ended up having to run to an emergency room. This was about a week ago. And we were there until a little after midnight. They did some x-rays. And Maya, do you remember what the name of your fracture was called? A buckle wrist? A buckle fracture. A buckle fracture. <laughs> <laughs> a buckle fracture is a huge break. Um, she came home with a cast for her first, the first few days, and then we took her to the orthopedist, and thankfully the orthopedist told us that he thinks she'll be just fine with a brace, because we were originally thinking that she was going to have to wear a full-on cast for a good four to six weeks. I was so excited when I found out I could wear a brace because a cast is it's gonna be on for longer, I bet. And it's your right and, arm, right? Yes, and I won't be able to write. And this I can write well because my fingers can bend. And when I sleep, I don't sleep in this, so I could take it off when I sleep. But with the cast, you would have to sleep in it, and it's not that exciting. Now that the school supplies are sorted and put away, we're gonna do something really fun today. Now, I don't know if you parents can relate, but I feel like at the beginning of summer, I always feel like we're gonna have all this time to do all these incredible memory-making events, and it's just gonna be just the most relaxing, fun-filled summer. And then before you know it, summer's over, and I'm looking back, wondering, what did we do all summer? School starts in a few days. We're gonna squeeze in one more incredible memory today. Where are we going today, Colin? Build a bear! Build a bear! <laughs> That's right. This year actually marks the 25th anniversary of Build-A-Bear and the celebration of heart, hugs, friendship, laughter, and creativity through the making of more than 200 million furry friends all around the world. So we're going to head to the mall. Addie's actually shopping with some of her friends for their back-to-school outfits. And while she's shopping, Colin, Maya, and I are going to head to Build-A-Bear to create their own furry friends. Picking out. Bear, bear, bear. Oh, I'm picking I out love the bear. bear you found, Colin. Oh, you got a good one too, Maya. Mm -hmm. Originally, Build a Bear was conceived as a place for children to come in and create their own bear using a step by step process, and it includes the iconic heart ceremony. But now the Build a Bear brand is a favorite for multiple generations and a favorite for people all around the world. <gasps> what does it mean when you ring the bell? Party has started. The party has started. Yay. Party reminder, can anybody guess what it is? 
We're gonna have so much fun today. You guys get to add a special sound to your bear today. Are you ready? Yeah, all right. How are we gonna go over to here? Should we bunny hop or should we march? The kids have selected their bear that they're going to stuff, but before they start the stuffing process, they get to add a special sound to their bear. I love you. I love that. Special button right there. Hope oh, your sound chip is ready. Let's make sure it works. I love you. <gasps> so cool. Colin's picking the heartbeat sound, which I love because every time he snuggles with his bear, he's going to hear that heartbeat. Do you hear its heartbeat? Oh. Jump on one foot. Bear me. The kids are playing a game of Build a Bear Says rather than Simon Says, which is a fun party game they play here because parties are back at Build a Bear. It is an awesome place for birthday parties or really parties for anything that you want to celebrate. Are you guys ready to stuff your bear? Yes! Okay, I think they're ready. Okay. is probably my favorite part of the process. Is it too soft, too hard, or just right? Just but how do we sew it? We're not gonna sew it yet. We're gonna stuff them all together and then we'll do the hearts and then we'll sew. So I'm gonna step on that and then my bear will get stuck. So you're controlling the stuffing. Yep. Pretty cool. Bear hug. Bear how does it feel? Good. Good? Oh, I love it. Next, it's time for the iconic heart ceremony. Hold it in the air, so now you've got it. Amazing, can everybody take their bear? Give it the best bear hug. Big, big hug. What did the heart ceremony involve? So we took it and we put it on a heart and made a wish and we spun around to have the wish come true. And then we rubbed it on our side so our bear would always be by us. And we rubbed it on our toes so our bear would be totally awesome. <laughs> Good job, give it a kiss. My putting her heart deep inside of her bear. The next step is picking out an outfit and a pair of shoes, and there are so many fun choices. I think it's gonna be tough for the kids to decide. What are you thinking, Maya? So mine's a boy, so I might do this. A oh, suit. A suit. That would be one handsome bear. Army. What are you army. 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 An army guy. That's a good choice. Army guy. And this also oh. fits me. You think that fits you? Mm -hmm. I think that would be a little small for you. But I bet it fits your bear just perfectly. If I was choosing an outfit, I think I would have gone for the cute panda. Or check out the llama. This is adorable. That would've been my choice, I think. Mom, what are you doing? Licking my bear. You're brushing him, making that fur all smooth while you get him dressed. Oh, we went soft paws, too. You went nice soft paws. Quite handsome guy here. So fluffy. Whoa, Colin! Mommy, let me, let me see your guy. Look at it. It feels so oh, good. It does feel so good. You look so cool too. Oh, I love the bear you chose. A little fluffy tail. A fluffy tail. While the kids are finishing dressing their bears, I just gotta show you some of the cute accessories that they have that you can accessorize your bear with. And of course, there's all sorts of bows and hair accessories, sunglasses. There are so many fun accessories so you can really make your bear unique and perfectly yours. What do we have here, Maya? Birth certificate. What did you name your bear? Pudding. Pudding, I love it. Do you know what Colin ended up naming his bear? 
Action Berry? Action Berry, I think. <laughs> berry. We named it Action Berry. 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 Action Berry. Well, we had so much fun squeezing in one last incredible summer memory. There are over 500 Build-A-Bear locations around the world, so we encourage you to check out your local Build-A-Bear workshop or go to www.buildabear.com to book your own experience or party. We're back at home and our school backpacks and lunch boxes arrived while we were away, so we're always super excited to get our new gear for the school year. I love this so, so much. <laughs> oh, they look awesome, girls. Good choices. Thank you. I chose this backpack because I love the color blue, and it's really cool. It's like a galaxy theme. There's like moon <laughs> and stars. So pretty. I love it too, girly. And Addie, tell us about yours. Why you chose your backpack? Um, I chose a marble backpack because um, it was simple and it would go with anything. And I just like the design. The girls definitely take over me in that I love all things school supplies. So fun pens, pencils, backpacks, notebooks, pencil pouches. I just love shopping for those things. That's why we get so excited for back to school season because of all the fun new gear we get to select. So we need roller backpacks because we have so many, we have so much supplies to carry. It's like really heavy. So everyone in our school has either a roller backpack or a suitcase. That's right, there are no lockers, there are no cubbies, there are no storage inside of desks for the kids at the girls' tutorial that they go to. So they literally lug all of their things around with them. And so like Addie said, some kids actually pack suitcases, like suitcases on wheels to carry things. So we have to have the roller backpacks at their school. I have a new lunchbox too, and I can use it for the barn because I don't know where my <laughs> other one went. Use them for the barn, I love yep. it. We do have our Tic Tac toy backpacks too, which the girls use mm -hmm. all the time. I bring my Tic Tac toy backpack to the barn and it like carries everything I need and it's <laughs> really helpful. And there are also school backpacks. So if you want to bring a backpack to school, <laughs> go to TicTacToyStore.com. I like your lunchbox too, Maya. Love that it coordinates you. and matches. Yours coordinates well too, Addie. I mm -hmm. dig it. I have to admit though, we still have so much school supply shopping to do. School starts in less than a week and we haven't gotten everything on our list yet. This summer just really flew by. I was not prepared for school to start so early and it's really catching me off guard this year. I'm just, I'm not ready yet. Are you ready, Maya? I am pumped. You are awesome. Yes. You're prepared. Yes. As many of you know, we do a partial homeschool system for school, so we're starting at home in about five days, but we start their actual tutorial where they go to school in a little over a week. So we do have a little bit of time to knock out all the supplies. So I have confidence that we'll get it done before they actually have to show up for that first day of school. Hey, Addie. Yes? Speaking of first day of school, mm -hmm. did you find your first day of school outfit while you were shopping with buddies? I did. I, you did? Mm -hmm. Can we check it out? Yes, we can. Is it a fashion show time? Sure. Hey, Maya, do you have a first day of school outfit picked out? Indeed, I do. Can we see your first day of school outfit? Yeah, you can. Okay. I think it's time for a fashion show. Here comes Addie. I love the look. Tell me about what you're wearing, girl. I'm wearing a black button-up shirt, some I green cargo it. pants, and white sneakers. Cool look. Thank I think you. Perfect for your first day. Thank you. Shall I see what Maya's wearing? Mm-hmm. And Miss Maya, what's your first day of school outfit consist of? So I'm wearing a smiley face shirt that says "Be kind." Okay, love it. Some. Emoji. You emojis on your pants too, Jeans. and some new shoes. I like the look. Give me a spin. Whoa. Now we mentioned Maya's new accessory for the school year, the arm brace. But Addie, yeah, you're sporting a new accessory too. What new accessory? You know what I'm talking about? No. Smile. Braces. She's got her round two of round braces two. on. And then I'm done with braces. <laughs> Sadie's on her second phase of braces. She just got them put in, what, like a couple weeks ago, maybe? Somewhere around there. 
So she's on her last leg. And then Maya, what do you have coming up? I don't know. You get your braces taken off. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I get my braces taken off and I'm so excited. Yes, she's on phase one of braces. So yes. she'll get these off in, I think, like a month. And you'll be braces free for a while. But then, when I get my, these braces taken off, it's about time for her to get her second <laughs> round of braces. Yep, so Abby will be getting off her second round right about when Maya's gonna be getting her first round, second round so, in. So. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us for some back to school and end of summer adventures today. We hope you guys all have a wonderful back to school season, whether you've already started school or maybe your first day of school's not for a month from now. Whenever it is, we hope mm -hmm. it's a wonderful time for you and we wish you the best year yet. Mm -hmm. How do we end our video? My fourth grader and sixth grader, what are we gonna say? XOXO, bye! This video is sponsored by Build-A-Bear.